Hi, I wanted to make a how to make a hoop for beginners by a beginner video. The reason is um, when I first started I wanted to make my own hoops and I felt like I'm watching pros make them. Can I make them too? Yes. The answer is yes, you can make them too. So you obviously need tubing and connectors. You can go to Lowe's or Home Depot or something like that and you can pick out a roll of tubing. You want to pick your PSI and your tubing width. This is 125 PSI half inch tubing. This is 100 PSI three quarters inch tubing. Then you need connectors and you want straight plastic ones. If you have half inch tubing, you want a half inch connector. If you have three quarters inch tubing, you want three quarters inch connector. You also need a way to cut your tubing. So this is a great tool. Um, it is a PVC pipe cutter. It works great on PE tubing. And I think it's called a ratchet pipe cutter. You will also want measuring tape. A stiff measuring tape is great to measure diameters. A soft measuring tape is great if you want to measure the circumference of your hoop. An optional tool is a razor blade box cutter. I use this along with a vise, which is another optional tool, to cut these nubs off. You don't have to do that with a vise. You don't have to do it at all, but the vise is a lot more easier to do it. Um, so I cut them off and then they look like that. And I've seen online some that come without nubs. I have not found them, so I cut them off. Um, but you don't have to, it just leaves a little lump in your hoop. You will probably also want tape. I like to only tape the inside of my hoops with gaffer's tape, which you probably won't find in the store. So since I do that, I like to use electric tape to cover the connection, but you can also use duct tape or smaller duct tapes. Uh, there's lots of duct tape, lots of taping options. That is up to you. Step one is to decide on the size hoop you want. So I recommend letting out only as much tubing as you want so that it comes taped and um, just cut the tape a little bit in a spot, start letting out some tubing, not all of it. And then if you have a friend, it's easy to use one of these. Um, because you can measure the diameter. It's easy to do that with a friend because the friend can hold the hoop in place. If you're trying to hold it with one hand and measure it with the other hand, it doesn't stay circular. Um, and so it's one measurement one way and it's longer the other way. So if you're by yourself, I would recommend uh, a soft tape, soft measuring tape, like from the sewing section maybe. And then you can measure the circumference instead. To know how much tubing you need to measure out if you're doing a soft measuring tape and measuring the circumference, you will simply multiply the diameter of the hoop you want by 3.14. So if I want a 38 inch hoop, then I need to measure out about 119 inches in circumference. Before you measure and cut out your tubing, what you're going to want to do is cut off the first little bit because it is usually straighter and it sticks out a little bit. It doesn't it's not as circular as the rest of it, so it's nice to cut off a little bit. So you'll take your cutter, and we're going to go to open it all the way. And then stick that in there. Um, and I recommend going a little bit slow, not as fast as you can, so that the cut tries to stay as straight as possible. So. We cut it off. You'll notice that after you cut it, it's a little squished. If you want, you can push it back into place. Also, you will be sticking a very straight piece of plastic in there, so it's not really a big deal. Then you measure out your tube and you cut it. My next step is to cut the nubs off of this. To do this, I'm going to put it in a vise. You do not have to use the vise, but it's very hard to hold and cut with this, with a razor blade. 
So I'm gonna put it in a vise and cut it. I hold, hold it like this, place my hand on the back and my hand on the back. Rock the blade back and forth. After you cut off all the nubs, if you choose, I then cut the connector down because it is very long and it made my first hoop very straight along the connection. So it didn't need to be that big, so I made it smaller and I cut off the first three of these. So you just put this in there and it's harder than the PE tubing. But it's still pretty easy. And, and I cut that edge off. So do that for both sides. And you'll have this. Next step is to use a hair dryer to heat up the edge of the tube. In this clip, I only do it for 10 seconds or 12 seconds, not 30. those 30 seconds but what else it's hot so I'm gonna try and stick it in until it's halfway and it looks about right right there perfect now now I like to wait for the tube that I just heated up to cool off a little bit 30 seconds maybe not very long but I don't want the connector to slip farther down when I'm putting the other side on so Basically, it just needs to be cool enough to hold, but I like to give it about 30 seconds. Other side. Here we go. Next, you want to make sure that your your hoop isn't twisted around the connection. So you're going to lay it on the floor and look for gaps, and then just make sure that the gap, if you see one, is not because there's a dip in the carpet. So what you want to do is move it around and look. Oh, and look at this. So the big gap, right, right there. Make sure the gap isn't in your carpet. Keep going around. Other gap, I'm not surprised. There's probably gonna be two gaps if there's a gap, I guess, uh, like symmetry and balance and whatever, I don't know. So that, in my experience, means I need to twist my hoop a little bit. Um, let's go this way. Better. Then you've made a hoop. I, well, also you need tape. I like to do electrical tape around my connection because I leave the outside bare and I like to do inside tape only. So that's also easier to do with a friend because then they can hold it and you can tape along and they can turn it while you're taping. By yourself, it's very hard. I have done it though, um, but I haven't figured out a good way to do it by myself. 